Welcome back to my animation channel. Thanks very much for joining me. I recently did an animation of a dog for a client and in this series of videos I'll show you how I did it going step by step through my process. So please look out for the other couple of videos. There's going to be three of them and this is the first one. I did this in open tunes so let's just open up open tunes create a new project and also did some sketches and have some reference so let's just import that so very first thing we do and then I just set that up so we can have a look at the reference just rotate it using the animation and the, um, the scale and rotation modes of the animation sorry I'm moving a bit fast here because there's a lot to get through and I don't want to keep you too long. We create a new level to start drawing on. Tunes raster level. And let's just get our pen up and make it a gray, pencil type of gray. And then we can start sketching this out. So basically, there's what we're going to do. There's a sketch that I made. We've got a the client wants the dog to jump in from the right, stop, turn, wag its tail, etc and then jump out and what we're going to do in this video we're just going to do the jump in and jump out the rest we'll do in the next two videos so I use what I've sketched there just as a basis of of the movement so once I've sketched one frame I can copy it and paste it and just move it along here I, I want to do a pose to pose type animation so I've got the dog coming in from the top right and I know how I want him to end Basically, that will be the middle of the animation. He's going to be standing. So we're going to do a bit of a pose to pose here. So I've got the first animation, the first drawing, and the last drawing. And I'm just filling in the middle here. So we want a slight ease in, ease out effect. So he's coming in quite fast. And obviously, as he hits the ground, he, he slows down eventually to a stop. So the way I work is I use a lot of copy and paste. I just take the previous drawings and I copy them and paste them. Not everybody likes working that way. It can degrade the actual line. You, you see the line if you copy it multiple times, it, it eventually becomes quite a quite a bad line if you want to call it that. Um, so you can see this coming through on this. Not the best way to, to get a nice crisp line, but I do like working like that because you, you keep the the volume of the animation, the, the character, you keep the volume consistent. Here I'm just doing some secondary animation as ears. So as he hits the ground, you can see his le legs are taking the impact and his ears are flopping down and they're coming back up again. And also his tail is coming in. So these little secondary effects add something to the animation. And obviously most of the impact of landing on the ground is, is absorbed by his legs. So the, those will be bending, especially the front legs take that impact. That's basically how dogs work. Even when they're running, their, their front legs don't do a lot of the actual power work. They do a lot of absorption of the move. So we're getting that in. And then we can just play that out so far and take a look at it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. This is sped up a little bit, so it's not real time. And then we can start doing the, the leap out bit. So we can use a bit of what we already have. We can go and copy some of these frames and, and use them at the, the frames where he's impacting the ground and his, his legs are bent, bent in. We can use those as a starting basis to draw the frames of him leaping out. You can see there again when you zoom in, you can see how this line is breaking up because I've copied and pasted it so many times now. So again, not not everybody likes doing it this way. On this leap out, what I'm going to do, the front paws leave the ground first and all the power in the stroke uh, f from a dog or from a cat when they when they leap is coming from the, the back legs. The, the front legs hardly do any power movement. Um, or strokes it's all the power in their movement is, is from the is from the back so the front paws are going to lift up the body's going to rotate the dog's leaning in there and the back paws are very firmly set on the ground they're going to be obviously the last parts to move so I keep copying those same paws and right at the end I rotate them a little bit copy and pasting again as I go 
and now we can do a bit of stretch here. So he's come from a very squashed position, stretch and squash. He's been quite squashed at, at the lower position and now we can stretch him out. You can exaggerate that stretch a little bit and now he's basically leaping out of the screen. So again, it's ease in, ease out. At the, at the beginning of the push, the frames will be quite close, but as, as we get to the exit, you can speed them up by spacing those frames out quite a bit. Let's just play that out. Yeah, it's looking good. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Yeah, there's a bit here that I can change. I can see a few things I want to just tweak. But let's just carry on moving them out of the top left screen. Exit top left. We're obviously using onion skins here to space him and position him and still a lot of copy and paste. I'm rotating him so it doesn't zip up in a straight line. He's he's going to be peaking as he goes out of the screen here. That's going to be the apex of his jump basically. So putting in a bit of rotation there. Obviously when he gets to the apex he'll be slowing down slightly as well. So the slow parts are the beginning of the jump and the apex and in between you can speed up the movement. So the, it's he's in, he's out on the, on, the, on the ends and at the top and in between you can speed it up. Just going back to do a bit of bit more work on his secondary animation here on the ears just adding a bit more movement there again still using a lot of copy and paste with the onion skin on just to have a look at the positioning here and also I'm getting his tongue to come out a little bit there as well we've also put in a bit of secondary movement to his collar so that as he hits the ground his, his collar moves forward a little bit uh, these little things add a little bit well they actually add quite a lot so all that secondary movement stuff really makes it look more alive. So let's just see him here coming in. Yeah. Not happy with his tail. So when he's coming in, let's just work on his tail. Let me just reposition the tail here. So again, copy and paste. When he's coming in here, I want him to have a much flatter tail so that as he hits the ground, it's more exaggerated. There we go. So it flops up like that. There we go. That's better. So I think we're almost there. It's looking quite smooth, I think. I'm liking it. And on the exit as well, I just want to adjust his tail. Um, it comes forward on the impact. But as he leaps out, I want it to be going back. So let's just copy and paste all that and just tweak it, flatten it out. So it has a bit of a lagging effect. So his tail follows him. It looked right when I first did it, but it doesn't look right now. So his tail is showing a lot of the movement. So as he comes in, it curls up um, on the impact. And as he leaps out, it flattens and you see it gets left behind there. Or it lags. But I'm very happy with this. Maybe just here, just add another frame. Get him a bit lower. So I can copy that frame, rub it all out and rotate one of the previous frames a bit. So it's got more rotation at the bottom. And there it is. That's that's basically our jump in and jump out, the pencil line layer of it. And in the next few videos, we'll work on this further. We'll be adding some more secondary animation, a head turn. The dog wags his tail and lifts his leg, which is rather fun. Also, we'll be adding color and we'll do all the rendering out and layering and stuff. So please have a look out for the next two videos. It's a series of three videos. Please go check out my Animating with OpenTunes course. The links are in the description. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to sign up for the newsletter, please go and do that. Otherwise, thanks very much for joining my channel again. And I hope I'll see you around here again. All the best and happy animating out there. <music>